If you were asked to do a presentation, what is the first thing you should do? It's very simple. You need to prepare. You need to prepare your content, you need to prepare your delivery, and when you do that, you really connect with the audience. Hello, my name is Marion Burke, and I offer practical Speak Confident courses on behalf of student counselling and development in UCC. There are three key areas to prepare. Prepare for your audience, prepare your presentation, and you also prepare yourself. To prepare for your audience, ask yourself key questions. What is their purpose? Think about why are they attending? Do they want information? Do they want to understand something? Do you want them to know something? Do you want them to understand and accept your ideas? Do you want them to do something? Do you want them to remember you and your ideas? For example, your supervisor asks you to present your project. Your supervisor's purpose is to make sure that your idea is legitimate and that your research supports the idea and that your conclusion is clear and concise. They will also want to see that you got your message across easily and confidently. Your purpose is to make sure that your content and delivery lets them know that you are confident about your ideas. The reward, high marks. Remember, content and delivery means you really connect with the audience. And when you know and understand your purpose, your message, and when you are clear, then you prepare your presentation. Map out the content to support the message. The content, it needs to be effective and believable rather than a flashy PowerPoint. Simple is often the most powerful. At the beginning, make the heading memorable and powerful and visual. Surprise your audience. Make an instant impact. Constantly reinforce your message with supporting data, research, and organize your material in a logical sequence. And remember, if you use a lot of words on a PowerPoint, the audience will read it a lot faster than you can speak it. So it will always be ahead of you, instead of paying attention and listening to you so your words will actually have much less impact. Use visual aids for impact. Write on a board. The audience will pay attention to see what you are writing. They'll be curious. Tell the story of your message research. Reinforce with a strong ending. Rehearse your presentation. Time it. Check the venue, test the mic, if using one. And also, what is the speaking order and where are you in it? And finally, check, is there a question and answer session that you have to prepare for? And finally, prepare yourself to deliver your presentation. Now you need to focus on the tasks for presenting especially managing anxiety, standing at the podium, and the technical skills of speech craft, voice, and body language. Under stress, our muscles tighten and hold the tension we're feeling. 
tension locks itself into our bodies and anxiety makes us breathe more quickly and less deeply. Shallow breathing means you restrict the fullness of your voice and sound and range. The only way to break the cycle is to have a solid, strong posture and good breathing habits. If you experience anxiety, try these simple exercises. Stand upright and practice stamping your feet on the ground or try the hacker pose. Be aware of how strong you are in your body when you do this. Feel how solid you are. And learn to calm your mind through breathing. Breathe in through your nose, follow your breath, release and wait. And we'll do this in breath for four and out breath for eight. In one, two, three, four, hold, out, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Do this six to eight times. When you're standing at the podium, check list the tasks. Focus on your posture, feet firmly on the ground, remember the solidness of the strong stance, and your breathing. Then when you are settled, connect with the audience, smile, and acknowledge them. You are now telling them you are ready to begin. You now need to focus on your technical skills, voice and body language. Volume, can the audience hear you? Even at the back of the room, if necessary, ask them. Can you hear, can everybody hear me? It's very frustrating if they can't. And if your voice is very low, you need to raise it to the level that is needed. Variety, show the audience that your presentation is very important to you. Convey emotion through enthusiasm and conviction. Don't act like a robot. Not too fast, slow it down. This will help you manage your anxiety and it also helps the audience to have time to take in your information. Focus on telling the message, not your anxiety. Not too slow. Keep the content flowing and interesting. And use pause to help you to manage all the tasks. Posture every now and then Check how you are standing and being, that you are not distracting the audience. If you are fidgeting or you have a habit, be aware of that and just stop. Move on. Keep your facial expressions friendly within the context of the content. And use your gest gestures naturally, which will help you to emphasize certain points. In terms of eye contact, establish bonds very quickly with the audience. That's really important. Look at everybody. Remember, you are telling the story. You are telling the information, not the slides. Use pause to keep an eye on your audience. Are they listening to you? And for impact on a particular point. The audience is there for a purpose, and so are you. So make it easy and interesting for them. Make sure they remember you and your message. Content and delivery means you really connect with them. 
And remember, checklist the three key points for success. Prepare for your audience, prepare your presentation, and prepare yourself. Good luck with your presentations. And remember, the more you present, the more confident you will become. Practice does make perfect.